Okay, I'm not even not even ready for this yet. Okay, it's right. So I just got an email from my favorite no-code tool, which if you didn't know was PineGrow. Yes, I talk a lot about Webflow, but like Framer and things like that. But PineGrow is really my go-to when it comes to coding a website giving me absolute free reign. I don't need to tell you anything more about it. I've got various different videos I've made on PineGrow. But ultimately, they've just sent me a email saying that they have just introduced a feature that basically deploys your website to Netlify. Now, for those who don't know anything about PineGrow, quick run through, it's a desktop application that it's an no-code platform that writes and creates HTML and PHP files for you. Uh, rather than Webflow, which is online, you create it on your machine and then you upload it how you want. I haven't even opened Pine Grow since this thing, so I'm gonna open that just in the background, but I saw this, go back, saw this here and I was like, what? That's quite cool. So just a prerequisite, I still suggest uploading and managing all of your coding files through something like GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab or something like that. Really because you get, if you make a mistake or if you need to roll back changes, then it's very easily done like that. And um, Bob Means actually created a GitHub plugin for PineGrow, which uploads uh, your files and does all that kind of management. I've not actually used that plugin myself, but you know, it's, it's good that it's there. That is the preferred route. But in the name of getting people up and running with PineGrow, then this is a very, very welcome feature. So what have we got here? I've got all these projects. I'm just gonna create a new project because otherwise, um, yeah, HTML project. Otherwise it's gonna, you know, we'll take a while. Let's sort this out as well. This is how unprepared I am. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even recording the right screen. So I'm, like I say, I haven't even opened Pine Grow yet. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add a H1 in here and it's gonna say, Hello, warm mats. To save this first, that would that would make sense. Let's um, Netlify test. Because yes, if you didn't notice, it was Netlify only. So open a project, yes, let's do that. And now let's create some CSS so that we have a CSS file to, um, to work off. Cool. Okay, publish, create an account, create a free, well, we've got, we've already got a, um, a, an account, so let's log into Netlify. Applications, personal access tokens. Okay, let's add this. I'll obviously be deleting this after we create it. Okay, select site, perfect. Okay, we need to create a new site and let's do uh, one bet. The flip was that? Oh. You must be obsessed with one bats or something. One bats, cool, publish. Wonderful, look at this. Magic, absolutely magic. Let's pop back into uh, Netlify, wherever that is. And here we go, there's our Wombats. That is very handy. Like I say, I am, I am one for saying that you should manage all of your code through something like GitHub, just in case something goes wrong. And it's very easy to link these two things up. You can even publish it to Vercel or something like that. But again, in the name of just getting you up and running with PineGrow, because I think that's what people struggle with is understanding that Webflow are offering hosting, CMS, designer, they're offering everything that you need. Whereas, 
something like Pine Grow or when you code a website, all it does is write the code for you and then you publish it to wherever you need to publish it to. So that's the big distinction. And that's why I brought, I created a series on Webflow to Pine Grow to kind of explain the uh, one-to-one of what the CMS is in Pine Grow or what the designer is in Pine Grow and various things like that. And I do have one on hosting because again, Pine Grow doesn't provide its own hosting. So this is just great for you guys just to get up and running. What I really want to see now is we've got great integrations with WordPress. We even have a plugin for WordPress. So you just do it all in the WordPress dashboard, which is just amazing. Something more akin to what Webflow is. What I really want now is a bundler or something for Jamstack CMSs if you're watching Pine Grow. Other than that, welcome new feature. Very, very much welcome new feature. Um, look forward to seeing some more integrations because Netlify, I'm sure it's not the, gonna be the only one. Uh, Vercel would be great. And yeah, I think that'll do it. Like, subscribe, all the rest of it. And until next time, happy no coding.